Welcome to the Gamer Recaps. Today, I'll be showing you a 2023 remake of an action-adventure survival horror video game called Resident Evil 4 Remake. A group of Los Illuminados cult members surround a young woman who is marked with sacrilegious markings. This all takes place in an unknown location deep within the Valdolobos village. They prepare to sacrifice her on an altar while chanting mantras and prayers. The woman is forced onto a stone altar. A cult member decapitates her as her blood soaks deep into the symbol of the cult. You play as Leon Scott Kennedy, and the game begins with you, reminiscing the events of a biological tragedy that happened six years ago. Leon, one of the survivors, reflects on his years and his first day as a rookie cop during the city's outbreak, which led to the death of his idealistic views on the world. As a result, Leon is recruited into a top-secret government program and forced into the role of a government agent. He undergoes grueling training and participates in punishing missions to gain proficiency in weapon handling and close-quarters combat. During his training, he is mentored by Major Jack Krauser. Leon's mission to Valdelobos begins in 2004, after the U.S. Secret Service receives reliable intel that Ashley Graham, the abducted daughter of the current President Graham, was last sighted in the region. Along with two local cops from Corpo Nacional de Policia, Leon is sent by the chief to assist with the search. On the way, Officer Mario Fernandez Castano informs Leon that people frequently go missing in the area, including missing hikers last week. Upon arriving at the remote village, Castano excuses himself to investigate a sound he heard in the forest. When he doesn't return for a while, Leon goes outside to search for him while the other officer stays in the car. Leon follows Officer Castano's trail, which is marked by mud and the carcasses of dead animals. He eventually arrives at the Hunter's Lodge, an old and run-down building. While exploring the lodge, Leon encounters a strange resident who is talking to himself. Leon asks the man if he has seen the missing officer, but receives no answer. As Leon looks around the room, he notices Castano's bloody badge and is suddenly attacked by the crazed man. Although Leon manages to dodge the attack, he inadvertently breaks the man's neck. He hears Castano scream, which leads him to the basement where he discovers the officer's mutilated corpse and a radio, broadcasting a distress signal from the other officer. Suddenly, the signal breaks up and Leon hears a loud noise from upstairs. To avoid being detected, he hides in a nearby room and discovers evidence indicating that Ashley is being held at Lago, the lake part of Valdelobos. He contacts his agency's support operative Ingrid Hunnigan to inform her of his discovery. With a lead in hand, Leon jumps out of a window to evade pursuers and makes his way to the village square. The villagers quickly surround Leon, including a crazed chainsaw-wielding man wearing a sack as a mask. He seeks refuge in a nearby house which the villagers and the chainsaw-wielding man break into. Leon manages to fend them off for a while until the church bell rings, causing the villagers to drop their weapons and retreat back to the town hall. Leon stands outside, baffled by the villagers' sudden shift in behavior and confused about what had just happened. Leon finds himself alone in the village square, he enters the cellar and finds a man named Luis Serra, trapped in a body bag. Leon frees Sarah, but their attempt is prevented by the village chief, Baitors Mendez. Mendez disarms Leon and incapacitates him by throwing him across the room. While Leon is unconscious, Mendez injects him with the egg of Las Plagas. While incapacitated, Leon is confronted by Osman Sadler, the leader of the cult, who presents him with their most sacred body, and the process begins. As Leon regains consciousness, he realizes he's restrained next to a shifty character named Luis, who claims to have intel on Ashley's whereabouts. Just as Luis starts to spill the beans, a crazed Ganado storms into the room, attacking the helpless duo. Using their chains as weapons, Leon and Luis manage to strangle the beast into submission. With the Ganado defeated, Luis frees himself and helps Leon escape. While on the run, Leon contacts Hunnigan who updates him on Ashley's new location. Suspicious of Luis, Leon orders a background check to be conducted by his colleague. As Leon breaks out of confinement, he stumbles upon the merchant, a crafty trader who offers weapon upgrades, 
new items, and trades valuables for money. Pressing on, he navigates through the harsh terrain and enters the manor of the village's chief, Mendez. But Mendez intercepts him. Leon shoots at him, but Mendez appears unfazed and starts to strangle him until he notices Leon's Plaga Parasite advancing and declares that, his blood has accepted the gift. Suddenly, an unseen woman shoots Mendez in the head, and he gives chase after her, letting Leon go. Leon is left to ponder what Mendez meant by gifted. After recovering from the attack, Hunnigan sends Leon her report on Luis, which angers Leon when he learns that Luis used to work for Umbrella. He regrets not leaving Luis to rot. As evening falls, Leon makes his way back to the village square after escaping the village chief's manor. However, he finds that the path to the chapel is blocked by the tower that has been destroyed. Determined, he explores the town hall and ends up in a heavily guarded graveyard outside the church. After some searching, Leon discovers that Ashley has been taken to the church by a cult member, who has hidden the key on the other side of Lake Lego to slow down Leon's progress. As he approaches the lake, he witnesses two Ganados dumping Officer Castano's body into the water where the huge mutant fish, Del Lego, devours it whole. Unfortunately, Leon's boat has no fuel, which he needs to acquire from the processing building near the fish farm. Once he gets the fuel, he sets out on the lake, but the boat breaks down, leaving him stranded. Suddenly, Del Lego attacks him, and Leon barely manages to avoid being devoured. During the fight, Leon's anchor becomes entangled with the creature's fin, and after a grueling battle, he emerges victorious. However, Leon is injured and passes out from exhaustion and coughs up blood. Once again, Leon is plagued by visions of Sadler, the cult leader, who declares that both Ashley and Leon will become part of his group and share in his holy blessing. Sadler then infests Leon with more parasites, causing him to writhe in pain before waking up in his previous location. After piloting his boat back to the mainland, Leon finally hears from Hunnigan after three hours of radio silence. Navigating through a cave, Leon finds shrines and murals, including one depicting the events at Lake Lego. Finally obtaining the key to the church, Leon heads back to the area, where he discovers the corpses of two missing hikers, including the girl who was previously sacrificed on the stone altar, with bloody markings. As he heads back, Leon confronts and defeats El Gigante, a mutated creature, leaving it lifeless on the ground. He finally reaches the church and notices Ashley's personal belongings scattered around the area. As he approaches Ashley's confinement room, she tries to attack him with a candlestick, but Leon disarms her and reveals his intention of rescuing her. However, they soon discover that hordes of Ganados are heading towards them, commanded by Sadler to deliver them to salvation. Leon and Ashley make their way outside the church. Leon contacts Hunnigan about their successful retrieval of the target, and she sends a chopper with coordinates for their extraction. As heavy rain pours down, Leon and Ashley head towards the extraction point but find themselves surrounded by Ganados. Luis signals them to take refuge in a nearby cabin where Leon confronts him about his past with Umbrella. The interrogation is cut short by the arrival of the Ganados, and Leon and Luis fight them off while Ashley hides. After the attack, Ashley discovers an escape route, and the three flee while Leon shoots the chains holding a wooden gate closed to stop the Ganados from pursuing them. The trio takes a break, but Ashley starts coughing up blood. Luis approaches and inquires whether this is her first time experiencing it. He proceeds to explain that blood coughing is an early symptom of Las Plagas, which they both have, and that the parasite has enslaved the people of the village. However, Luis reveals that he has a plan to surgically remove the parasite, as evidenced by the scars on his chest, which indicate that he once had it forcibly implanted but managed to rid himself of it. Despite their initial reluctance, Luis asks for their trust. When Leon asks for the reason behind his sudden help, Luis simply responds that it makes him feel better before departing and promising to contact them later. As Luis traverses through the rainy terrain, he comes across Ada Wong, who was believed to have died during the Raccoon City incident. Ada inquires about his progress in acquiring the Amber and reminds him that without it, he won't receive the promised protection. 
Luis assures her that he'll obtain the amber and reveals that he'll also need to collect something else. Meanwhile, Hunnigan contacts Leon and informs him that the chopper won't be able to reach their location due to the worsening weather. Despite the setback, the duo continues to move forward and deeper into the region. On their journey, the pair suddenly get attacked by more ganados, including two female ganados who are crazed and wielding chainsaws. They make their way to the checkpoint area, where they encounter village chief Mendez yet again and are chased relentlessly through the region while being hindered by other villagers. While crossing a narrow and fragile wooden passage along the cliff's edge, Ashley's leg gets stuck in the wooden planks. To protect her, Leon shoots the approaching Ganado, causing the passage to completely crumble, but they both manage to make it to the other side. As the village chief walks away, Leon watches him and prepares for his next move. As Leon and Ashley make their way through the old and decrepit slaughterhouse, the village chief jumps on Leon and demands that they submit to the cult's will. Realizing that they must fight, Leon tells Ashley to escape as he throws a fuel tank at the chief, causing an explosion. However, this only triggers the chief's mutation, and Leon engages him in a brutal fight. Despite separating the chief's body in half, the upper half of his body mutates further and becomes even more aggressive. Eventually, Leon defeats the village chief for good. Ashley helps Leon escape from the burning building by breaking a nearby window. Grateful for her rescue, Leon thanks Ashley, and they move away from the building as it catches the attention of other villagers. They then proceed to the castle, only to find the gate closing behind them, locking them inside. Upon entering the castle, Luis contacts Leon and offers a suppressant that could aid with the parasite's progression. He suggests a meeting in the castle's courtyard between the three of them and sends a document detailing the efforts and uses of specific drugs on the plaga during its early stages of growth. As they continued on, Leon observed the heavily fortified entrance guarded by cult members armed with artillery. Along his journey, he encountered plaga-type heads with wide jaws and four mandibles and faced opposition from the armed guards stationed at the entrance. Within the castle, they were introduced to the castellan, Ramon Salazar, who demanded that Ashley be handed over to the cult leader Sadler to be used for spreading the parasite worldwide. However, Leon and Ashley refused his demand. Encountering resistance, the zealots descended upon them, but they managed to escape. Leon comes across the castle's torture chamber where he finds gruesome scenes of extensively mutilated bodies and torture devices. He also finds notes left behind by the previous caretaker. While exploring the chamber, Leon falls through a weakened wooden floorboard and comes face to face with the restrained Garador. He notices that the man's eyes have been sewn shut, but he has developed sensitive hearing abilities. The Garador eventually breaks free of his restraints and attacks Leon, forcing him to defend himself. After defeating the Garador, Leon and Ashley continue their journey deeper into the castle. She collapses in Leon's arms, and suddenly a puppet-like doppelganger of Ashley appears, wielding Leon's knife and attempting to attack him but failing. The puppet Ashley backs away from Leon, holding the knife to her own throat and threatening suicide. A gate separates the two as Ashley regains control and realizes with horror that she had hurt Leon unintentionally. Afraid of hurting him again, Ashley runs away from Leon. Leon attempts to contact Hunnigan to update her on recent events but loses signal. He heads back to search for Ashley, but encounters Ada who holds him at gunpoint. He manages to disarm her and asks about her current employer, but she evades the question. Ada suggests that Leon abandon Ashley, but he refuses. With time running out, Ada proposes they escape through a window and continue their conversation later. While exploring, Leon comes across a new strain of the parasite that attaches itself to a person's back, giving it control over the host's movements and causing them to behave violently. Leon is forced to fight a heavily armored El Gigante while avoiding attacks from the controlled individual. With no way to harm the creature, Leon dodges rocks and eventually finds a cannon to use against it. He aims at the creature's eye and successfully defeats it. As Leon continues on, he is ambushed by the creature, but manages to avoid their grasp and the person falls to their death. 
Leon eventually comes across Ashley who is weeping alone in a room. When he approaches her, Ashley flinches away, frightened that she may be controlled again. Upon seeing Leon's symptoms, Ashley is surprised to learn that he has also been implanted. Leon tries to comfort her, but Ashley is unable to stop moving and expresses uncertainty about their chances of survival. Despite this, Leon encourages her and reassures her that they will make it out alive. After a heartfelt moment between them, Leon receives a message from Luis, who has gone missing and needs assistance in the ballroom located beyond the courtyard. Leon sets out to find Luis but finds the door to the ballroom locked, forcing them to search the castle for the necessary pieces to unlock it. Along the way, they encounter Armadura, armor suits inhabited by the Plaga. While they are entering the pieces, Ashley spots a group of zealots approaching, and Leon prepares to defend them. One of the zealots captures Leon in a cage, leaving Ashley to fend off the others. As Leon fights his way out of the cage and against more attackers, Ashley manages to escape and locks herself in a room where she decides not to run and decides to free Leon from his captivity. Ashley navigates through decaying rooms and encounters armaduras, but discovers that she can repel them using the lantern's light. She reaches the upper floor and promises to find a way to free Leon, then searches for the necessary item. While being pursued by numerous armaduras, she retrieves the item and unlocks Leon's cage. However, they are interrupted by the sound of Ashley being abducted by Salazar's servant Verdugo, and Leon attempts to shoot him but it has no effect. Helpless, Leon watches as Ashley is carried away to an unknown location. After failing to find the Amber, Ada contacts her employer and updates them on her situation, revealing that Leon is assisting her in her retrieval efforts. Her employer agrees to allow Leon to continue helping her. However, their conversation is cut short when Ada sees Ashley being carried towards the throne room by the Verdugo. Ada quickly contacts Leon to inform him of the situation. Upon reaching the throne room, Leon witnesses a gruesome sight Ashley is being forcibly restrained by zealots, with blood marking her body, and Salazar cruelly taunts her with a black liquid that he claims will make her suffer even more. As Leon tries to intervene, he is knocked down by the powerful Verdugo, leaving him helpless as Ashley is made to drink the noxious substance. She writes in agony as her condition worsens, and Salazar callously orders the Verdugo to dispose of Leon by throwing him into a pit below. However, Leon manages to save himself by grabbing onto a chain used for executions. As he descends into the depths of the cave, Leon discovers an underground laboratory where Isidro's notes reveal his twisted desire to surpass human limitations and become one of Salazar's most loyal servants, the deadly executioner known as Verdugo. Leon must fight for his life as the relentless Verdugo stalks him through the lab, until he finally restores power and escapes in an elevator back to the surface. As Leon waits for the elevator to reach his floor, his plaga symptoms intensify and he has a vision of a man receiving orders from Sadler to deliver these vagrant children to their salvation. When he finally arrives at the mines, he finds Luis waiting for him with the suppressants. After injecting himself with the suppressants, Luis warns Leon that the effects of the suppressant won't last long. However, Leon believes that rescuing Ashley is still their top priority and is willing to risk his life to accomplish the mission. Luis joins him as his faithful sidekick, and they set out to save the Princess Dulcinea. As they advance towards the blast furnace, Leon is suddenly seized by another El Gigante. Luis tries to pull him free, but both of them are dragged into a fight against the monstrous creature. Leon warns Luis of an incoming attack from a second El Gigante and the two heroes use their wits and the environment to their advantage, ultimately managing to defeat both beasts. After defeating the creatures, Leon is puzzled by the fact that the cult kept them in the mines, but Luis explains that the area is considered sacred and that ancient ambers containing the parasites are preserved there. With no other option, they ride the minecarts through the unstable mines, pursued by Ganados and passing by the Novistador Hive. Eventually, they reach the end of the track and have to jump to safety while fighting off more enemies. Finally, they board the lift, where Leon urges Luis to confess that he used to work for Los Illuminados and wants to help them make amends. 
Upon their arrival, Jack Krauser, who Leon thought was dead, stabs Luis in the back, revealing himself as the mole behind Ashley's kidnapping and an operative for Los Illuminados. Krauser retrieves the sample and engages Leon in close combat using his knife. As they fight, Leon attempts to reason with him and learn his motivations, discovering that Krauser's unit was killed during Operation Javier, and he seeks revenge by acquiring the same power that killed his men. Despite his efforts, Leon is defeated, and Krauser departs. Luis saves Leon by shooting Krauser's knife, but he succumbs to his injuries and gives Leon the key to his laboratory, where they can remove the parasites. Before passing away, Luis tells Leon that people can change, and he regrets not doing so himself. After parting ways with Luis, Leon is determined to avenge his fallen ally by pursuing Krauser. He takes the lift to the surface, where Ada gives him information about Ashley's new location in the clock tower. Despite Leon's initial snide remark, Ada assures him that there is still time to save Ashley. Upon arriving at the clock tower, Salazar orders his followers to stop Leon from reaching the top. However, Leon manages to make his way up and spots Salazar escorting Ashley into the building. He follows their trail and witnesses Salazar handing Ashley over to Krauser, instructing him to prove his loyalty to their cause. Before Leon can intervene, Krauser grabs Ashley and raises the drawbridge, leaving Leon to face off against Salazar. Tired of Salazar's taunting, Leon shoots him in the chest and head, causing him to fall to his death below. As he exits the tower, Leon is still haunted by Salazar's laughter. He faces the mutated creature and navigates the surrounding environments, determined to kill him. Salazar cries out for Sadler's help, but it's too late as Leon finally defeats him. After leaving the tower, Leon sees Krauser piloting a boat with Ashley on board. He rushes to the dock where Ada meets him with the key to another boat. After boarding the boat, Leon opens up to Ada about how he, along with the world, has changed after the destruction of Raccoon City. He tells her how saving one life can result in the deaths of hundreds more and asks if she has also changed or if she still uses him for her own agenda, just like she did six years ago. However, Ada remains silent and eventually leaves Leon to pilot the boat to the shore. As he reaches the rocky shores, Leon witnesses the heavily fortified entrance and Krauser taking Ashley inside the base. He successfully infiltrates the base and sets out to find the level access keycard needed to enter the room where Ashley is being held unconscious. While searching for the access keycard, Leon faces off against various experimental Plaga creatures, including the Regenerator and its spiky variant, the Iron Maiden. After obtaining the keycard, Leon manages to open Ashley's cell area and finds that her condition is rapidly deteriorating. He administers the last suppressant and injects Ashley with the serum, successfully buying her some time. Despite feeling the effects of the suppressant wearing off, Leon remains by Ashley's side, exhausted but determined to protect her. After waiting for some time, Ashley regains consciousness and learns about Luis's death. She vows to get rid of the parasites inside their bodies in his memory. Leon contacts Ada for the location of Luis's laboratory, and she responds that important facilities are usually housed at the top of the summit. The duo sets out for the top but encounter a weak wall blocking their way. Ashley commandeers a crane and attempts to break the wall with a wrecking ball. However, this attracts numerous ganados in the vicinity. Leon fights off the attackers to give Ashley enough time to successfully break the wall. They board the lift, and Ashley expresses a desire to become an agent like Leon, but he reminds her that their priority is to escape. Upon entering the Amber storeroom, Leon and Ashley stumble upon the Amber where Luis said the Plaga parasites were being held. Suddenly, Sadler and his cult followers reveal themselves, with Sadler introducing himself as the cult's spokesperson. In response, Leon shoots Sadler in the eye, but Sadler quickly heals from the wound. Sadler then uses mind control to incapacitate Leon and take control of Ashley, commanding her to kill Leon. Ashley manages to resist the mind control enough to barely miss Leon and instead kill two of Sadler's followers. However, before she can shoot Leon again, the gun jams, 
giving Sadler and his followers the opportunity to take Ashley and escape. Once they are far enough away, Leon is released from the mind control and regains his gun. Upon entering the tent, Leon discovers that Operation Javier was conducted in secrecy and not known to the public. The operation took several years to plan and involved selecting the most elite soldiers. As Leon prepares to leave, he listens to a tape left behind by Krauser, who plans to end the events that occurred two years ago on a bloody battlefield. As Leon enters the field, Krauser taunts him about his judgment and mocks his inability to save anyone. Leon snaps back, questioning Krauser's reasons for working with the cult, to which Krauser reveals his desire for power and how the cult granted it to him. They engage in a fight to the death, with Leon attempting to make his way toward the tower where Ashley is held captive. Krauser, realizing he's outmatched, mutates his arm and smashes the ground, causing Leon to fall below the surface. Leon navigates the dark corridors and eventually arrives at the entrance of the tower, but it's too late as the drawbridge is raised and Krauser appears behind him, now with both arms mutated. The two engage in a duel with Leon ultimately emerging victorious, leaving Krauser incapacitated from his injuries. Knowing his death is inevitable, Krauser tells Leon to do what he must, and Leon stabs him in the heart with his own knife, ending his life. As Krauser takes his last breath, he tells Leon that he has trained him well, and Leon agrees with the sentiment. Leon reaches the rooftop of the sanctuary where Ashley is taken inside by Sadler's followers. As he approaches a landing site, a combat chopper piloted by Mike sent by Hunnigan arrives to assist him. However, swarms of Novastators attack the chopper, causing it to crash and killing Mike. Leon is determined to seek revenge against Sadler for Mike's death. Upon arriving at the sanctuary, Leon finds Ashley unconscious on the stone altar and attempts to approach her, but Sadler intervenes, claiming that their bodies and minds are linked through the holy body, and attempts to persuade Leon to accept the gift as Ashley did. Enraged, Leon attacks Sadler, but the Plaga spreads rapidly through his body, rendering him nearly under Sadler's control. Ada appears and shoots at Sadler, giving Leon and Ashley time to escape as Ada holds off the attackers. Despite suffering from blurred vision and the effects of the Plaga, Leon and Ashley make their way to Luis's laboratory. Using the key entrusted to him by Luis, Leon removes the parasite from Ashley first before succumbing to the pain and fainting on the floor. After Ashley and Leon are freed from Sadler's control, Ashley assists Leon in removing the parasite from his body, and they both thank Luis for his help. In the laboratory, they discover that the amber has been taken for further testing. As they exit the cave, Ashley expresses concern for the woman's safety, but Leon reassures her that she will be fine. Once outside, they spot Ada being held captive, intended as bait to lure Leon out. Sensing danger, Leon leaves Ashley behind and heads towards Ada's location, where he frees her from her restraints. However, they are soon swarmed by Novastators, and Sadler appears, attempting to strangle Leon. Ada saves him, and the two confront the mutated Sadler, who charges at them, separating the pair. Sadler reveals his plan to spread the Plaga to every part of the world and unite everyone through the Holy Body to create a paradise, resulting from the wars, suffering, and death happening all over the planet. Despite the odds, Leon successfully defeats Sadler, who falls into the sea below but mutates once more into a giant mass creature. Finally exposed, Leon uses Sadler's staff to impale him, vanquishing the creature for good. Leon makes an attempt to retrieve the amber, but Ada intercepts it and informs him of the arrangement she made. She offers to take him on the helicopter, but he declines, knowing that this is where they part ways. As the island's facilities explode, Ada departs, leaving Leon and Ashley behind. Ashley is confused as to why Ada left them, but before they can discuss it further, Leon quickly takes her and rushes towards the dock. Leon and Ashley ride a water scooter left by Ada and navigate their way through the collapsing cave and burning facilities, witnessing the island's destruction. Ashley offers to include Leon in her protection detail, but he declines, seeing that she can handle herself but needs more training. On the helicopter, Ada contacts her employer, Albert Weskier, 
and demands to know his intentions for the sample. Weskier reveals his plan to expedite the change by sacrificing a hundred lives for one, potentially resulting in billions of casualties. Ada, realizing the insanity of his plan, holds the pilot at gunpoint and changes their direction course. Looking out the window, she sees Leon and Ashley making their way home. Upon hearing that Leon and Ashley are safe, a relieved Hunnigan updates the report and walks away from her station. And so, the game comes to an end. Thanks for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel.